for high continuing from my last uh, pattern cutting session I would say I want to make a slip dress with like a cow neck so I just did some alterations I'm just gonna go through uh, what I did so I'm going to use a satin fabric and I don't want the dress to be tight obviously there needs to be a bit of room for uh, just my body to move so what I did is I removed the darts remember there were two darts here so what I did is I removed the darts and just added like um, I think altogether I added six centimeters in general as is so why do six I can't remember and uh, obviously if you're going to make this with me you also want to just uh, make it uh, more comfortable for you create some ease so to say because we don't want to be uh, looking uncomfortable like in a tight dress so <laughs> so uh, I removed the dots and uh, these are my new lines so at the armhole I increased the centimeter on both approximately and then obviously connected to the hip and at the hip I increased as well just like I don't know less than a centimeter on both so it will be like I don't know two centimeters in in a hole on the dress so and also I just continued that until the um, the hem of my dress so uh, the back will be cut on fold and uh, I'm gonna put my zip on the side so the zip will be on the side there yeah, at the hip area that's where my zip will end so I'm gonna have a long zip so now since it's a slip dress at the center back I'm gonna go down by like two centimeters Let me take half of these, half of the approximately where approximately there. And then I'm just gonna kind of create a curve. So for the front, I'm gonna go, you know, that across front line. So I'm gonna go for that line because we're gonna have straps. So from the across front, that would be like the cut line let me go down by four centimeters four cm and then i'm gonna connect the across front and that mark so half of this um area okay and i'm gonna co connect that until the number area okay so at the armhole, I'm gonna um, mark four inches from the center front. Remember that was like the apex. And I'm just gonna draw a straight line. And then I'm just gonna try and connect that point with the armhole. So this is like our new line so after this I'll measure this area until the um, shoulder that would be like the strap for 13.5 centimeters so for the back as well I'm gonna measure the four centimeters four inches again okay and then that's like where the strap will be as well get rid of this so I'm gonna um, leave a centimeter seam allowance so I don't have to redraw the whole thing so I'm just gonna add one more um, like slashing line because I want uh, to have uh, like an even spread so I'm just gonna cut there Let me just cut through that. take a new piece of paper and just lay it down like that 
and then now I can slash more. Now you want to get your pattern master and then basically put your pattern master on that um, on the center front line so to say. So just a quick interruption with the voiceover. If you can place the pattern master 90 degrees on the center front line and just uh, draw a straight line into the armhole so basically square to the left. So now I want to create like a facing for the um, front part. So I marked five centimeter down, also here five centimeter, and I'm just gonna freehand. The back I'm gonna do the same. So basically, um <laughs> really sorry about the lighting I'm gonna try and get this project sewn otherwise the fabric is gonna fray and um, I'm not gonna have time tomorrow or the day after so I'm gonna try and sew this up I hope I can um, work out a better lighting and then we'll see how we got on how we get on from there so the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna sew the straps so I'm gonna sew the straps and then um, turn them, turn them around. And then what I'll do also is sew the facings to the um, to uh, the back and the front. So this is one of the straps I made already. You can see it's thin but reasonably thin, not so. So I searched my strap because I don't want the fabric to fray. And then I cut a tiny bit there. It's a tiny bit there. Then small tip, you take a hairpin, put it through, and then you turn the fabric and try to get back into the fabric like that. So put the pin through and then all you do is uh, keep on pulling this so what I'm doing now is basically I put the uh, facing and the uh, the main fabric of the dress the front and the back with the facing together and all I did is like sandwich the uh, the strap in between the two and I'm gonna sew the back I'm gonna do the same for the front and I'm gonna top stitch once I'm done I'm gonna top stitch the um, the facing and uh, iron everything down so it looks neat so hi again I don't even know where I ended uh, the last uh, filming uh, so it's been a few days and uh, I had to stop filming that day. I really apologize for the lighting so I really couldn't get all the uh, sewing um, filmed because it just wouldn't make sense filming with bad lighting so I attached the, uh, the facings to the bodice and also I top stitched as you can see And then also attach the uh, um, the zip to the dress. 
I set the facing so it looks nice, nice and neat and uh, I obviously also pressed all the seams down so the dress can um, fabric can lie straight and uh, flat and uh, so at the end I just uh, made a small stitching here on the zip and the facing just to keep it in place so and I hemmed the bottom of the dress Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!